In this video, we will cover using Zotero, the desktop application, with Google Docs, the cloud-based word processor. To do this, you will need two things set up on your Windows computer. First is you'll need the Zotero desktop application, as the desktop application is required to use with any word processor, whether it be Word, OpenOffice, LibreOffice, Pages, or Google Docs. Second, you will need the Zotero Connector plugin set up on the web browser that you'll be using primarily for typing up your Google Docs document. So in my example, I'll be using Google Chrome. And you'll know you have the Zotero Connector plugin set up if at the top of Google Docs, you see a Zotero tab available. If you do not see that tab, you can download the connector at zotero.org, click on download, and it will detect the web browser you're using and you can just click install connector and it'll show up there. In this example, I have a sentence already pre-generated and now I want to add an in-text citation. So to do that, I'd go to Zotero and add edit citation. Please keep in mind your Zotero desktop application should remain open throughout this entire typing process as it is required to use this functionality. So when you first start with a document and placing in text citation, it's going to ask you what citation style you would like to use for your document. There are several listed available and this is not set in stone. So you can change this later on if you like. In this example, I'll be using APA 7th edition. So in this case, Zotero is updating your document. Please wait. A red progress bar should show up. If it doesn't, go to your system tray or your task bar at the very bottom or wherever it may be located and just open the Zotero app. You might see, you might see the search bar as a clickable window if you hover over the Zotero application icon on the bottom of your screen. At this point, so when you see this red search box, you'll be searching your Zotero library for whatever citation you plan on putting in. So in this case, I'll be using a Borgi article. So I typed in the author's name. You can also go with keywords that you know are in the title. And once I selected the reference, it shows it in the parenthetical form that it will likely be paid that it will likely be placed in. And if I click on the citation, I actually have some options available. So if I did a direct quote, then I would have to provide a page numbers for that quote. And I can do that here. If I mention the author's name, so as if I've written it in a narrative style citation, then I can omit the author's name. But in my case, I'm happy with what I have. So I'll just click enter. And now the in-text citation is available at the end of that sentence. So from here, the recommendation is just create some space between the body of text and where you would like to start the bibliography. And now I'll click Zotero and add edit bibliography. So what will happen is It'll detect what in-text citations are in the document, and it'll create a matching bibliography for that. Now, going forward, any additional in-text citations that are added will be added to this, this references list. And as an example, I'll be using Cheng and Mouse. Now it's multiples in text citations in the same line. And if I click enter, there they are. And the matching alphabetically organized bibliography is set. Now at any point, if the red progress bar freezes or takes a really long time to load, it's recommended that you close your Google Docs document as it will save on a regular basis. So you don't have to worry about losing your progress and then reopen that Google Docs document and reattempt to add in the citation. 
is that it'll act as a sort of soft reset to the document with respect to Zotero. Uh, 